Hi there, this is Nicholas Casimir, and I'm here with Taylor Schilling, the star of Orange is the New Black. My name is Piper Chapman. Time to say goodbye. I love you so much. I carried a suitcase of drug money once, ten years ago. Do you know about all this? She failed to mention the lesbian lover who ran an international drug smuggling ring. It's all good. You were a lesbian at the time. Well, let's talk about Orange is the New Black. Were you ever yeah. kind of concerned when you saw the script and you found out what it was about? Like, oh my God, this like, is like it's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot of lesbian <laughs> stuff. A lot of like it's very yeah explicit. You know, I was not, I wasn't concerned about like the lesbian stuff. I really was. I, I thought that those both her relationships. I thought Piper's relationship with Larry and I thought mm -hmm. Piper's relationship with Alex were really beautifully drawn out. Mm -hmm. And so for me. Um, like the, both of those love stories felt very justified, and right. I, I didn't. It, it, it wasn't a lesbian thing for me. It was more of just right. a, a love story. But the nudity for me was something new, and that um, I definitely um, I was scared. Sure, I was really sc I was scared just across the board with that, and um, and then you know I don't know. I get, maybe it's one of those. I'm realizing I think it might be something that actresses say a lot, like, "Well, is it this story was worth it or whatever?" But it kind of it kind of was to me. I'm sort of like, "Why not?" It, it seems like it seems like Genji Cohan, who who created Orange Is the New Black, um, it made sense in the mm -hmm. world she'd created for Piper to be that vulnerable. Why do you think that show? And I think you're. You've, have you shot the second season yet? Um, we're in the middle of shooting it now. Okay. Why do you think it's become such a hit? Because it really is sort of the show of, of the moment in yeah. the best way possible. Like yeah. critics love it, audiences love it, yeah. LGBT and mainstream audiences yeah, love it, which cool? is extraordinary. Yeah. Why do you think it's hit a nerve? You what know, is your take? My take is that, and you know, when we were shooting it last year, I kind of did, I felt like we were doing something special. Mm -hmm. That there, there's a reality to the stories that we're telling. There's something that's really, that feels to me not um, processed by whatever Hollywood, whatever that thing is when people say Hollywood, but not mm -hmm. processed by that idea of what we think women should be or that idea of, um, that, that idea of who we think these certain kind of like marginalized populations are. Or even a woman who's mm -hmm. a, you know, kind of breaking the mold of a woman who's sort of waspy and blonde and everybody mm -hmm. sort of thinks they know who she is. We're, we're peeling back the stereotypes of all of these people yeah. and the ambiguity of people. You know, the people have amazing parts and manipulative parts and scary parts and, and honest parts and that all of those have a place. Mm -hmm. You know, Genji's not leaving a stone unturned. Mm -hmm. So uh, what I like to think, because what I, what I respond to is authenticity mm -hmm. and I think that there's, we're, we're ready for that. I don't know if there's a lot of those stories being told right now and I think in Orange we're telling those stories and I think that it's so cool to see how hungry people are for yeah. it. People are really hungry for you know, honesty, because right. there's none of the women you see are, are cookie cutters, but they're all people you see walking down the street. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it's so it's like I love the fact that we're able to see people on screen that we see in in real life, as opposed to, you know, people on screen being this sort of like untouchable. It's interesting though because one of the things that is happening in our culture is like things like Breaking Bad and Sopranos mm -hmm. and The Wire are very male driven shows. Yeah. And Emily Nosswell in the New Yorker wrote about this with a reevaluation of Sex and the City. Mm -hmm. And I think this show, Orange is the New Black, has done that. It's 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 a woman centered show yeah. that is quirky and funny but smart and yeah. actually very political in the Absolutely. sense. So I think that's also part of it. This is my take at yeah. least. And so you guys hit this perfect nerve. Yeah. Which is tough. Yeah. Um, so you're in second season? Yeah, we're in the second season. I mean, and I think that, you know, one of the things I love about that is that I don't think in all of those shows that you mentioned, there's a there's a male, mm -hmm. you know, care, it's, it's safe for men to be kind of like the anti-hero, yeah. you know, to be flawed and complex and still for us to watch their story mm -hmm. from beginning to end. But rarely do we see a woman who's that flawed mm -hmm. and deem it worthy to follow her through. And we get to see Piper as this person who's incredibly flawed and, and manipulative and but still trying her best. And she's a woman. Yeah. And we're seeing a woman in all of her all of those different those different parts of her and we're following it. Yeah. Now I have to ask because everybody's like been all over the net devastated at the fact that Alex played by the great Laura, um, oh my god, my brain's Prepon. Mad. Yeah. She's wonderful, wonderful. Who's not gonna be on this season for the whole season. Well, you know I don't really know about 
I don't know all, yeah. all of that, yeah. but I do know that. Have you seen her on set? She's a wonderful. <laughs> well, she she's she's an amazing actress, and I've had an incredible time working with her. And I also know that that storyline is playing mm -hmm. through. She's okay. not. She's there's no end to that. Okay. Because yeah. that's part of the big appeal, I think, for many people, seeing these two, this real relationship. Yeah. With a history absolutely. and a future, it seems, yeah. come to life. So, yeah. uh, have you been surprised with a positive reaction by the LGBT community? Were you guys a little bit nervous? Like, you have a trans character, you have a lot of lesbians, a lot uh -huh. of lesbian sex. Were you just thinking, oh God, is this going to be. You know, I didn't really think about that. I, I didn't really yeah. think about that. I sort of. I sort of I'm very excited about mm -hmm. the stories, about yeah. the, how compelling each one of those characters are. And so I think what is cool about the show is it sort of takes it from a generalization of like a lot of lesbian characters or a trans character and kind of says they're each individual women with very clear, unique stories, you know, um, all very different. So yeah. it, it kind of takes it away from that generalization. And I really appreciate that. But am I correct? And Jodie Foster directed an episode? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is she doing more? Yeah, yeah. She's was doing it, more next year. Was it great or was it weird? Amazing. Amazing. Jodie, Fo Jodie Foster, it's, a, again, a, a, a huge gift of this experience. She's, a, she's an incredible director, an incredible woman. So it's like a broad gender question, but yeah. is it different being directed by a woman than a man? You know, um, you like, know, I think it's I think it's different being directed by every individual that can hmm, direct you is, is right. different. But there certainly is something I found. I've had really amazing experiences acting when being directed by um, a woman. You know, I think that there is sometimes in my experience, which I know is it's different for mm -hmm. everyone, but there. Um, there, there sometimes is a bit more intimacy, yeah. you know, especially yeah. with, especially when you're, you're dealing with the ins and outs of a particular, uh, you know, a, fe a female's journey, a woman's journey through life. Congratulations! Thank I, you. I, I'm, I'm sure I'll be seeing you in 10, 20, and 30 years, and I hope so. And Absolutely. I, and I and Orange is the New Black is going to be on, I think, like probably in like six months, and all those 13 episodes will be streamed. So yeah, that's pretty exciting. Yeah, don't worry, they're coming. They're, we're making them right now. Don't Season three is going to be yeah. already. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're coming. Okay. <laughs>